bam. Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here, bringing you the next part of Mechanicus. This time we're talking about the Forge World Stygius 8, otherwise known as the Ever Staring Cyclops. Stygius 8 is a moon of a ringed gas giant in the binary system of Vulcanus. It lies far to the galactic north of Terra, and perilously near the Eye of Terror. Stygius itself almost fell to heretic forces in the times of the Horus Heresy, only being saved by the intervention of the enigmatic Eldar race. This event has led to Vulcanus being the home of a secretive sect within the Adeptus Mechanicus known as the Xenorites. The Xenorites are dedicated to the study and exploitation of alien technology, a policy which most tech priests find highly offensive. The Xenorites point to the intervention of the Eldar to assist the true followers of the Machine God as a sign that even they are subject to her will, and that it is their sacred duty to study them. Aware of the antipathy of their colleagues, the Xenorites pursue a policy of covert study, often dispatching cohorts of Skatari to garrison alien sites instead of bringing artifacts back to forge worlds for study, as prescribed by doctrine. It is not unusual for Xenorite expectations, I mean expeditions, to come under attack from alien populations. Planetary garrisons, even the Skatari legions of other forge worlds. Open war with imperial authorities is not unknown. These regrettable occurrences have only served to drive the Xenorites deeper underground. And then a quote. <clears throat> a man may die, yet still endure if his work enters the greater work. Time is carried upon a current incepted by forgotten deeds. Events of great moment are but the culmination of a single carefully placed thought. As all men must thank progenitors obscured by the past, so we must endure the present that those who come after may continue the greater work. From the Chime of Eons, Garba Majaro. Technomagos of the Adeptus Mechanicus. So now you're seeing again here, the Mechanicus is definitely becoming a multi-layered organization. We have the Xenorites, a faction which is at open warfare with the Imperium at times, and yet it still can be overlooked because it's a forge world and they're just way too freaking valuable for you to for you to shut them down. So you can have an entire forge world declare independence virtually from the imperium. And 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 you'll you'll be okay with that. Pretty cool. Until next time. Bye.